What's up YouTube? So I just launched two new packs on my store and today I want to look at Twist, which is a pack of 150 wavetables. These wavetables are designed to work in serum, vital, phase plant, pigments, pretty much any wavetable synth. And today I want to show you a bunch of those wavetables, how to use them in context and a couple of things that make this pack special. So anyway, let's dive in and have a look. So the pack consists of 150 wavetables and they're categorized into various different categories. We have base wavetables. There's also a bit of a special thing here with these kind of split wavetables, which I'll explain a little bit later. Then there's a ton of different FM tables, which are really cool for quickly getting kind of FM sounds. There's glitch orientated wavetables, which are really cool for glitchy sounds, of course. There's growl stuff, which is really cool for dubby basses, techno growls, and all sorts of stuff like that. There's a bunch of lead orientated wavetables, which are obviously good for leads. A bunch of others, which are anything from like shapes for LFO tables and all sorts of stuff like that. And then there's a bunch of wavetables that were actually designed in various other spectral applications. So firstly, I wanna go through some of the glitch and FM. So the glitch stuff I really like to use with more randomized LFOs and that kind of thing. So let's set up a random, let's set this to one over 16, and then we can get this to modulate the frame position. So let's set this somewhere in the middle, and let's get this to modulate like this. Let's duplicate the random, we can maybe randomize the pitch as well. I'm just going to add some simple effects here, like a delay. Okay, let's cycle through some of these glitch wavetables. Okay, let's check out some of the FM. So with the FM kind of stuff, I generally prefer very similar kind of patches. Sometimes I won't do too much with the pitch shifting and that kind of stuff. Maybe just uh, single octaves. So here actually, what I can do is uh, we can actually just put in a couple of MIDI notes here. I think this could be cool to kind of hear it in context to a track, you know. Let's look at some of these growl wavetables. So these are designed to either be kind of like dubstepy basses or techno growl kind of things. 
So these really excel. In fact, you know what? I'm going to open up uh, Vital, just in case some of you don't have Faceplant and you want to follow along and that kind of thing. Um, and I also just want to show you that these wavetables can work with pretty much any wavetable synthesizer. So let's go over to these growls over here. And another reason why I really like Vital is that it's quick to set up a bunch of these effects. So like chorus, distortion, good stuff. Uh, so most of these growl wavetables are designed to just kind of like slap an LFO onto the wavetable position and you sort it. Okay, so like I was saying, these aren't just dub basses. You can also use these to create some pretty cool techno uh, growl, stab, synthy things. So what I like to do is put a high pass filter. So it just gets that like crunchiness out. Uh, put a large reverb. And then make the tempo of that LFO really slow and make it like a rise. Sick. So let's look at some of the lead wavetables. So these generally work best with kind of like monophonic style patches. So let's set one voice, glide, legato. Let's load up some of these wavetables. Let's start with the first one. And what we can do is we can actually put on a filter, some distortion. Perhaps we can put some envelope on the filter. What we can maybe do is put a little bit of note randomization onto the frequency of the filter. Let's put in a MIDI pattern. Okay. <laughs> 
Let's have a look at some of the bass wavetables. So here I've got an example of kind of more of a proggy bass melody. Or we can go with just the traditional one with these kind of more techy sounding bass sounds. So the bass sounds are actually uh, split up into several categories. We have just the traditional bass wavetables. Then we have these bass SCWs, which are just single cycle waveforms. So these are just a collection of stuff that's not modulatable. You know, it's just a single wave of kind of just interesting shapes that I often use or copied from various sources. If you are astute <laughs> with the names, you'll probably figure it out. So we have these ones which are modulatable, right? These have various different timbres which you can choose. The single cycle waveforms are, you know, just a single wave. So you, you can't really choose too much there. There's just a collection of them. But then there's another collection of the single cycle waveforms. And these are the psi bass splits. So this is based around a method that I use where I split up the harmonics of a bass sound uh, in the wavetable. So we have just the fundamentals on a single oscillator. Then you have bins two and three on another oscillator and bins uh, four and up on another oscillator. So this is super powerful because it gives us the ability to kind of create envelopes and shape each individual kind of frequency band, but without applying any of the phase shifts that multiband processing generally applies. So alongside the wavetables in the pack, there'll be a bunch of template presets or phase plant vital and serum. As you can see here, it's a setup which has a sine wave as the fundamental, bins two and three on another oscillator and four and upwards on another oscillator. And so you can use this to kind of shape your bass in various ways. You can kind of just pull down the higher frequencies if you need. And that's kind of like putting a high shelf EQ on it. But again, without the any of the phase stuff that happens. And this is also really cool because now what we can do is we can take, for example, um, a collection of different bins. So we can like cycle through this collection of wavetables to create different timbres in the different frequency ranges. So say, for example, we don't like the mids of a sound, we can change just the mids. These are a little bit more subtle than the tops. Another reason that this is really cool, like splitting up these uh, partials, is we can say, for example, create some kind of wideness on the upper partials. So here, let's use the unison. 
Let's set this to two voices and let's turn the tuning of this detune of the unison down. So we can actually go into the advanced panel over here. And then what we can do is we can detune it ever so slightly, but we want to leave the stereo unison on. So what this now allows us to do is actually apply a stereo effect and pan these partials like left and right. This is also super powerful because now it allows us to be able to mute the lower frequencies. As you can see, this bass, the sine tone, is actually not running through the filter. It's just running straight through to the outputs. There's no phase shift happening to that um, sine wave. And here, this is much easier now to check if the phase correlation of the kick and bass is spot on because we don't need to EQ anything which then adjusts the phase to be able to see that exact sine wave. We can just remove those partials or mute them, um, line it up with the kick, and then unmute them, and it should be bang on. So let's just set up a oscilloscope here real quick. So now we can jump in there, adjust just the phase of just that bottom sine wave to line up with the kick, if we want to. You know, you don't necessarily have to do this, but it's a common technique. Or what's even more powerful, in my opinion, is to actually remove the uh, fundamental tone when it overlaps that kick. And so how we can do that is we can create an LFO. So let's set an, up an LFO here. Let's set this to sync mode. Let's set this to a one over four. And then we can set up some kind of like square pattern like this. We actually wanna smooth it a little bit. Now, when you add these other partials, you barely notice whether that fundamental is actually missing. Okay, cool, that about sums it up. Like I said, 150 wavetables, a bunch of templates for Vital Serum, Phase Plant, and yeah, the Patreons get the usual discount. Okay, that's about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, as usual, the Patreons will be getting a discount uh, on this particular pack. And if you enjoyed the video and you haven't yet, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.